My name is Kim C. Lee, and I am here at the Sandy Springs Slave Museum and African Art Gallery. Here in the main room, I will be reading my book, The Night Owl. The Great Hall is one of many buildings here at the Sandy Springs Slave Museum and African Art Gallery. If you would like more information on how to visit, please visit www.sandyspringsslavemuseum.org. I hope you enjoy the read. The Night Owl. Time's up. It's 8 o'clock p.m. Make your way upstairs. In the midst of playing, this is the worst thing to hear. I prefer to stay up instead of laying down. The idea of snoozing leaves me with a frown. At night after bedtime is when the action happens. This is when you will find all the fun that's worth having. Once the lights go out and the room is filled with darkness, I'm free to slide out of my bed or jump on my mattress. I love counting the stars and making new friends. I dance with the shadows and sing, sing, sing. I turn on my flashlight to check for monsters. Are they under the bed or hiding in closets? Are there creepy creatures trying to get free? No, just some familiar faces looking at me. I wonder if mommy knows I'm not asleep. I tiptoe to her room to take a little peek. Mommy, I love you. Can you see me right here? I see you, my little night owl, and I love you, dear. Back into your room and back into your bed. She takes me by my hand into my room I am led. Do I have to go to bed? I'd rather stay awake. Even night owls at some point need to take a break. I settle into my pillow to get real comfy. After all that fun, my eyes start to get heavy. I fight to stay awake just a little bit longer, but slumber is calling and too strong to conquer. Before I know it, I'm sound asleep. No more ruffling in the darkness, not even a peep. If you would like to purchase a copy of The Night Owl, you can find it on my website, kimcleewrites.com, or on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Target, and other retailers. Thank you. Mm -hmm.